Hi, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourbiznow.com. And I want to talk to you today about list building. There's a lot of hype, of course, for getting more people on your email list, right? Of course, as an entrepreneur, the more people we can talk to, the more potential clients uh, that we can receive. And, uh, but it's not all about list building, right? I have a, a friend who calls it lust building, uh, but also <laughs> people that lust after your stuff. Uh, there's a lot of things involved with list building. You, it, I personally believe that you don't just put up some random, lame ass, almost blank landing page with some free gift, hoping that everybody that lands there wants it. You know, you know, you've seen the pages where it says, Hey, are you having trouble with this? Well, this ebook or whatever it is, is going to help you with bullet, bullet, bullet. Enter your name and email now. And it has an image and an opt-in box and really nothing else. Right. To me, I don't trust those kinds of pages anymore. And a lot of people don't trust those kinds of pages. Um, and maybe it's the difference between men and women. You know, men like to get to the point and women like a little bit more information. For the most part, I'm generalizing, but we like to connect with people, uh, even on a page where we're thinking of giving people our name and email, right? <clears throat> we want to know who's running this page. Whose page is this? Who's the owner of this business? What am I really going to learn? I get that it's free, but just because it's free doesn't mean I want to I, you know, you have to sell me on free these days, right? And I'm sure you've probably been there, right? Where you've looked at a page and you're like, no, nah, I don't think so, right? You're not going to opt in for it, even though something attracted you to come to that page in the first place. So what kind of pages are you building? What are you saying to your potential prospects and website visitors, right? Are you following the lead of those people who are doing those very simple pages. And some of those might be being built in a funnel uh, software, which is fine. It doesn't really matter where your pages are as long as they have the right information on them, in my opinion. I say more is better, not less is more, but more is better because there's different learning styles out there. There's the learning styles of the people who like to watch a video like this and get to know, like, and trust the person that they're trying to learn from or they wanna feel your energy, right? So they wanna hear you. They don't just wanna read your words. They also wanna know perhaps your credibility. Like who are you and how come I should trust you that you're gonna give me the information? So therefore you might need a bio on the page, right? You might need your, your bio with all your credibility in it. Well, I've been in business for 21 years and I've had all kinds of media coverage and been on TV and I've written 20 books and you know, like, Prove it to me that I should follow you and you're somebody that I could trust to give me some valid information, first of all. And let me back up a minute because you want to design your web pages, all your web pages for people who've never met you before, who have no idea who you are. And the reason for that is because if you don't do that, they may not be willing to play with you or engage with you. They might just look at it and go away. So the more you can tell them who you are, what you do, why you do what you do, but also what you're trying to accomplish, who that is for, what they need to know, what's in it for them, right? They need all that information. You might even need testimonials on a web page, but primarily what I like to talk about with clients when I work with them one-on-one -on, -one on these things, these pages, these opt-in, this customer journey we're taking people through. We're taking people through a customer journey. It's not just getting people on our list and an opt-in page and then boom, they're on the list now and they're going to get our emails. If you send emails, not everybody even does, right? Go to the extent of building the relationship afterwards and uh, giving more content. Sometimes you get people on the list and then you don't do anything with your list. Ah, don't do that, please. Uh, so you do have to talk to them. But what's really important, I think, is the words that you're using, the words. It can't just be, think about it. If you land on a page and someone's talking all about themselves first, right? If I came, if you were listening to this video and I was like, well, I'm a 20 time author and I've had thousands of clients and here's some, some of my success stories. Who cares? They don't care until they know like what's in it for them right? I'm trying to give you some valid tips and, and ideas and strategies that you can use right now on your current web pages. 
And then if you want to check out who I am and why I know what I know and all this other stuff, great, come to my website and let's do more, right? But it's the words that you're using. So what's in it for them? The hot buttons that they might be experiencing, the top three to five problems that your ideal clients are going through. Talk to those things, right? Make sure you're creating the free downloads and the free gifts and masterclasses of those topics, please. Because if you're creating something that you just want to share with people, but it's not something people want to opt in for or learn about, then you're not going to get very far, right? So the words matter. Uh, your positioning matters. What you what you look like from the outside in. So if you have a really dated looking website, people are going to be like, hmm, I wonder if this person really knows what they're doing. It looks like they're kind of out of date. They're maybe not up to fresh content. Um, if you don't have videos on your website, that's a big mistake, right? That's a big mistake because that's a big part of that learning for those people who need to hear you and see you and feel your energy. One-way communication with writing is not enough. It's not enough these days, even on those simple landing pages for a free thing. Almost every single page, and I'm trying to find the ones that I don't have a video on to add a video, right? Almost every single page of my website especially the free things and the things to start the customer journey and take people on the customer journey, they have a video on them. Why? Because there's a process and a lot of people aren't paying attention too. So you have to kind of stop them in their tracks. Hey, before you do anything, make sure you click the button or hey, now that you're on this page, go do here or mark your calendar for this or blah, 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 right? So you really want to engage with those prospects you want to use the words that matter to them. You want to also share things about your positioning, your credibility, of course. Make sure the look and feel of wherever we're seeing you and hearing you and reading about you looks good. And make sure that it's congruent with all your social media and your website and your what you look like on the video looks like your headshot. Make sure all your positioning and your branding looks congruent, please. Because if it, if it doesn't, we're doubting, right? We're doubting you. So, and then it's your consistency. So that customer journey, if you bring people in and say, hey, I'm glad you're here. I'm going to send you this thing and I'm you're going to get emails from me and then they don't hear from you for weeks or months, then you're not being consistent and you're losing trust. You're losing trust and confidence with your list. And when you do reach out to them three months, six months later, they're not going to even know who you are because you didn't consistently build that relationship, uh, you know, give info to them, content, uh, walk your talk, all that kind of stuff. Finally being productive. Okay. Well, it's not finally, there's one more thing, but productive, being productive with those web pages and the customer journey <clears throat> and being more efficient, not just to simplify the process for them, which is really important. You can't make it hard for them to get the information, to find the information. You can't have paragraphs of information of all the same size and color font and nothing that stands out and pops on you on the page because they're scanners. Some people will not read the third paragraph to learn the thing that you say you're trying to show them in the page. It's like, what's this page for? Well, in the third paragraph, I tell you. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, had a coughing attack. Okay, <laughs> in the third paragraph, I tell you, well, they may never get to the third paragraph because you haven't made it easy for them to find the information of why they should listen to you on this page. So productivity, productivity for yourself though too. If you're recreating stuff all the time, then you don't have the right systems, you don't have the right technology or team and you need better systems to make that customer journey process not a cumbersome one, but an easy, simple copy paste, clone and, and clone update and, and publish uh, process. That's what I teach people, right? So you have to be more efficient, more productive with your time because you will get more done and you will reach a lot more people. Now, the final thing that I wanted to share about list building is confidence, confidence in your worth for what you're selling, for how much expertise you have, knowledge, uh, your confidence in the ability to uh, promote yourself, that you know your stuff, right? That you, you 
that you have a, a value, that you have value to people, that free thing that you created has value. The paid thing that you offer has value. So that confidence <clears throat> will allow you to actually do those things and build those relationships and be consistent with all of this customer journey marketing process, right? So hopefully this is helpful for you guys today. It's not just about list building. It is about an entire customer journey process that you need to take people through and you need to treat them like people that have never heard of you. And you have to really build that relationship over time for them to really raise their hand and talk to you. Now, the faster you do it with different web pages and different steps along the way in the first couple of weeks of meeting somebody, the faster you could potentially get clients. If you stretch that out over four months or six months, oh my God, you might be waiting for a long time, right? And when they're hot, they're hot. When they're cold, they're cold. You got to get them right in the beginning, right? So those are some tips for you today for the customer journey, managing your list building process and your website with me, Katrina Sawa. And I am all about the big picture all the way down to the nitty gritty of what you're doing, saying, sending, posting, and how it's affecting you and getting more clients and making a lot more money. If you want to know more, you want to come and have a conversation with me where you never know what I'm going to say, because I might just have an idea for you and spit it out on that call. This is a get to know me call and you call so we can really see where you're at, where you want to go. And if it's not a good fit to work with me, that's okay. But what if it is? What if you can't afford it? What if I give you your next best idea and you can get a client tomorrow for 10 grand? What if? If you wait, then you may never know. So go to askcat.biz right now, sign up for a call. What are you waiting for? If you don't have a lot of this stuff done, or even if you do, but it's not working, then you want my eyeballs on what you're doing on your customer journey because something is missing or multiple things are missing. Go to askcat, A-S-K-K-A-T dot B-I-Z right now, sign up, fill out the questionnaire there. I need more information from you in order for me to have a call because I have to know exactly what you're doing, what your challenges are and what your goals are, <clears throat> but we're gonna have a one-on-one -on, -one on Zoom and you gotta go schedule it after you fill out that form. You can't just you know turn it in. So you gotta take the action. And this business depends on you. You are the owner, you are the entrepreneur. Only you can make this a mo the most successful business that you truly want it to be. Stop messing around, watching free webinars and all this stuff. Get to a somebody who has 21 years experience with all kinds of businesses on how to build the right customer journey, the right marketing and sales process to get you more clients and make you more money. I'll talk to you soon.